Hey there guys, how are you? So before we dive into the review, I first want to say this. Thank you, Pixar. I was so tired of those talking cars and Larry the Cable Guy as a tow truck. Please, no more of that. All right, let's talk about Disney Pixar's Inside Out. So what is this movie all about? It features a young girl named Riley, and we get an inside look into her mind at the characters of anger, disgust, sadness, and fear who make up her emotions. And by the way, on a quick side note, if my anger emotion actually had to become a real person, like a character, I think it would be a mix of Patrick Bateman from American Psycho, J.K. Simmons from Whiplash, and this guy right here, Louis Bloom from Nightcrawler. Steady hands. Now going into the movie Inside Out, I didn't really know much about this movie. I knew it was about emotions. It was directed by the same guy who directed Up and Monsters, Inc. And that's all I knew, and that's all I needed to know. Plus you slap Pixar on there, I'm probably going to go see that animated movie. Unless you have Pixar, and then you have a whole bunch of cars underneath that. I'm not going to go see that movie. One of the biggest themes in this movie is growing up and letting go. And that's sometimes tough to do. I mean, look at me. Look what I'm doing right now. I'm 28 years old, I'm sitting in a room I call the Foot Cave, I have a whole bunch of movies over there, I have oversized Star Wars toys, I say it's pretty safe to say I haven't quite let go of my childhood yet, but you know what, I, at least I don't play with Ninja Turtles in the bathtub anymore. Yes, I do. Now, I could dive deeper into the plot of this film, but you know what? I don't think it's necessary. Just know this. There's more to this movie than the trailers are letting you know. And that's always a good thing. And my biggest fear before watching this movie was that it was going to be somewhat repetitive. You have this young girl. She's angry. She's sad. It's like, okay, I get it by the hour and a half mark of the movie. But you know what? I was very surprised at the way that they structured this movie. I mean, yeah, you do get those things, but it's a very layered movie. There's almost two different universes, and both of them are just as enjoyable as one another. This movie also has a lot of comedy. It's a Pixar movie. You will laugh, but the most important thing that this movie has is an impactful drama element that's kind of intertwined with nostalgia. And what I'm talking about is this movie will give you those feels. Yeah, I almost teared up in the theater, but you know what? I looked around before I did it and said, I'm still a man, everybody. And if a tear did trickle down my cheek, I would have said I got some Sour Patch dust in my eyeball. Let me alone, it's just Sour Patch dust. <laughs> I actually had to do that one time, but let's talk more about that nostalgic vibe that this movie gives you. This is one of those movies, and I love movies like this, that make you think about your entire life. And if you're a little bit older, you're an adult, I'm 28 years old, this movie really takes you back to your childhood memories and makes you remember things. And when a movie about emotions can make you feel emotions, well, I'd say that movie did its job. I really like the nostalgic vibes that this movie is throwing out. I like movies that make you think about your own life. And I'd say that's probably the most beneficial thing that this movie has going for it if you're a little bit older and you go see the movie. It will make you feel emotions. And if you're a younger kid and you go see the movie, you're going to be entertained. It's funny. It's energetic. The visuals look great. Uh, so yeah, there's something for everybody in this movie. Now let's talk about some of the other main characters in the film. Riley's emotions. You have anger. You have sadness. You have disgust. You have fear. And you have joy. And these are essentially the characters or emotions that make Riley do everything that she does in the movie. And throughout this movie, you get a lot of comical bits between these characters just doing random things. At first, I really hated the character of Sadness. Like, I just wanted an elbow drop on top of her. But you know what? After thinking about it, I was like, she's Sadness. You're not supposed to like Sadness. It's depressing. You hate it. So... In that regard, Sadness as a character did her job. So here are my final flicking thoughts on the movie Inside Out. Overall, this movie has way more going for it than I expected it to. It's deeper than I thought it would be, and it actually had emotions and feelings and things that actually went into my heart, pulled on it, and said, John, we want you to cry. And I said, not today. And you know what? I'll be honest with you. If I watched this movie all alone, I probably would cry just a little bit. I would get a little bit of watery eye. It does remind you of certain things that happened in your childhood. And it also has a lot of other little tidbits that I think a lot of people all deal with, but no one talks about. For example, you know when you watch like a bubblegum commercial and that theme song gets stuck in your head all day long or you remember it 10 years later? This movie deals with things like that. So I'm going to give the movie Inside Out. That's my joy face. Now here's my angry face. Uppercut. And A, this is a solid movie that does its job. A movie about emotions that makes you feel emotions. Okay guys, so that's my review for the movie Inside Out. And by the way, before I go, if you haven't already, make sure you check out my last video where I did an entire Flick Cave tour video. That's right, I show you every detail, every nook and cranny of the Flick Cave and the top secret Batman bathroom. It's a good time. Definitely check that video out. I'll put a link down below or you can wait until after this video. Click the big annotation thumbnail. That's probably the easiest route to go. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you haven't already, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.